We talk a lot about the kinds of content that you can use on your website, but if you're not a photographer, tracking down visuals for your website can be a little bit challenging. In today's video, we're gonna talk about a few of our favorite website builders that make building a site really visual and really easy. We're also gonna share some of our favorite resources for our fonts, generating color palettes, stock photos, and creating launch graphics to help share about your new site. Hey friends, I'm Krista from Davy and Krista, where we help businesses build brands that book. Before we get started, make sure you hit like and subscribe on this video so that you get future updates about new videos we've released. And if you have any questions, drop them in the comments below. So first up, we're gonna talk about platform because before you get too far into the visuals of a website, it's helpful to make sure that you're working on a platform that actually makes it easy to customize those visuals. Some options such as Squarespace are really limited, which kind of makes it easy in some ways because you don't have as many design decisions, but in other ways, it makes it more difficult to implement your brand. We've explored a lot of different platforms for building websites, but the only two we use and recommend are Show It and the Elementor plugin, which is added to a WordPress site. For a more in-depth comparison between the two platforms, make sure you check out our Show It versus WordPress Elementor video. If these platforms are new to you, Show It is a drag and drop front end visual editor that requires absolutely no code. It makes it really easy to make a site look exactly the way you want and you can design on both desktop and mobile. Show It is designed for photographers and creative professionals and it's a platform we really love. Elementor is a drag and drop editor that gets installed as a plugin on a WordPress site. It is not quite as like put things wherever you want the way Show It is but it's really powerful and it's what we ended up using on our own website because of the way that it integrates with shops like WooCommerce. One of our favorite ways to customize the look of a website is by using fonts. Whether you're using Show It or WordPress and Elementor, both platforms connect with the Google Fonts library and give you access to hundreds of different font options. There's nothing extra that you need to do in order to get those fonts to work. But if you wanted to bring in a few extra fonts for accents or headlines or just use in a few small areas, we like sites like My Fonts. They have thousands of fonts in all different styles and they tend to be very high quality and come in a variety of different styles. So you'll see like a main style, you'll see a bold version, a lot of times an italic version and you can download the licenses for both desktop and mobile. Creative Market is another great resource. They have a lot of amazing script fonts and a lot of really fun, more trendy accent fonts. So if you're looking for calligraphy, if you're looking for something a little more contemporary, I would recommend checking out Creative Market. If you're looking for something free, check out Font Squirrel. A lot of times they'll link to one free style of a pretty high quality font. I will say that you probably have to weed through things a little bit more more and they don't always have web licensing available for fonts. So sometimes you'll download one and you'll try to upload it to a website and it might not work, but it's a great place to test different fonts and they do have some really high quality fonts in there. When it comes to fonts in general, I would avoid just adding completely free fonts from kind of the random sites, even though they may be sharing the correct files for some more popular, more pricey fonts. Sometimes those fonts don't have the web licensing available and they don't actually work on your website. They could also cause bugs on your site or maybe the ligatures don't come together correctly. So we generally try to stay away from just random free fonts that we find on online. Customizing the color palette on your website can also bring a lot of personal personality into your brand. If you don't have a color palette already for your brand, it can be helpful to generate one to use on your website. ColorMind is a great online generator because you can either generate color palettes based on web colors or one specific color and colors that coordinate it, or you can do a random popular palette. If you have your heart set on one specific color, you can lock that and then experiment with different colors that populate next to it. And it will even give you a quick preview of what it looks like on a website. Peloton will let you select a color and then choose different color palettes to go with it. So you can experiment with something that's monochromatic or two colors or three colors, etc. Adobe Color Generator works the same way. You can put in an existing color and come up with different complementary color palettes, or you could use the random generator and experiment with some new colors that you haven't tried before. Color Hunt has great pre-designed palettes if you just need some ideas. And coolers.com will let you generate a color palette from an image. So if you have an image that represents your brand really well and you just love the way the colors work in the image, you might be able to use that to generate a color palette from the image. And if you want to dive a little deeper into generating color palettes for your brand, check out the next video on choosing the
to perfect brand colors. In today's highly visual world, images are more important than ever when it comes to populating a website. So if you're not a photographer or you just need a few images to round out your website, here are a few great stock photo resources. We're personally big fans of Social Squares. We pay for a subscription ourselves and we love the way that they add a whole lot of different images each month. The images are beautiful, they work really well on social media, and it's always been easy to find things that feel on brand. They have a lot of different photography styles and all sorts of different objects, and so Social Squares I think is definitely worth the subscription. If you're in the wedding industry, I would check out Sourced Co. They have a lot of great wedding-related images. So if you're in hair and makeup or event design or anything in like the wedding industry and you just need a few images to round out your site, I would check out Source Co. Isaac Photo is probably one of the biggest and oldest photo platforms out there. Everything on the site is paid, but they do have just thousands of different photos. You pretty much have a whole variety of photos for anything you could possibly need a photo for. And so if you're not finding anything in the free resources or in any of the other resources, you could check out iStock and see if they have something that you could buy. And lastly, Unsplash and Pexels. Both of these are great free stock photo resources. There are thousands of photos and they have great searches and you can also find stock videos on there. So when we're working on templates, we use a lot of photos from these sources because they're free and they're beautiful. When it's time to launch, we found that it can be really fun to share a photo of your new website in a like desktop or iPhone or iPad backup. So there are a few different sources that we have found that sell these kinds of frames that you can use to make those fun launch graphics. Creative Market probably has the most variety and they sell Photoshop templates. So it's really easy to just open up the file in Photoshop, double click on one of the objects, drop in your image, and it'll put it in the frame with all of the proper shadows and fills and it just looks really beautiful. So those are paid, but I would say that they're probably the easiest. If you don't mind doing a little Photoshop work, Social Squares also has a lot of great images of desktops and laptops and lay flats with different screens and you can pop your image in there. We have another tutorial that will talk you through the whole process of adding your screenshot into a phone. Just keep in mind, it's not quite as simple as the creative market method. It is gonna take a little bit of Photoshop finagling to get it to work. And if you're looking for something free, check out Pexels or Unsplash because they also have some images of devices that you could use to create launch graphics. All right, and lastly, lead magnets. If you need to create some sort of PDF incentive to help build your mailing list, we have a few great resources for putting that PDF together. When our team does these, we personally use Adobe InDesign, which is premium software. It's probably the most advanced, but it's made for publication design. And we find that it makes it really easy to edit text and adjust the flow of text and format something in an editorial way. But if you're not into InDesign and it's a little overwhelming, or you just don't want to pay the monthly fee that it costs, you could also create your PDF in something like Sketch. We use Sketch to do our websites and it's a simple one-time fee. Sketch is similar to Adobe Illustrator, but I think the export options are easier. It makes it easy to select a page or multiple pages and export them as a PDF, a JPEG, a PNG, an SVG, lots of different options. So definitely check out Sketch. Another great alternative to the Adobe suite is Canva. You can design all sorts of graphics in Canva. I would just make sure that if you're going to design a lead magnet in Canva, all of your text gets exported as like editable clickable text to make sure that it's easy for screen readers to read through the text as well as that it's easy for people to copy and paste text. And lastly, you can always use something like Google Docs, Google Slides, Keynote, anything like that to create your PDF. While I do think that a PDF should have a pretty nice looking cover with an image, the rest of the content, as long as it's formatted easy to read, doesn't need to be super fancy or intricately designed. And there you have it our favorite tools to customize your website. If you want a head start when it comes to building a website, check out our line of premium Show It and WordPress website templates. And if you have any additional questions or anything you'd like to see us cover in future videos, drop those in the comments below. And make sure that you like and subscribe this video to get updates about future videos we release.